Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel for another video. I'm Kimani, aka I'm a creator, and this is Create Her Best Life. For those of you that don't know, this is a place where artists and people that love art come to create, collaborate, gain inspiration, and just honestly create the life that you truly, truly desire and deserve. With that being said, I'm going to just jump right into this video. Today, we are talking about screenwriting. I love screenwriting. I consider myself a practicing screenwriter because I have not had anything published per se, but a few of my scripts, not a few, quite a few of my scripts have been filmed, um, which is really awesome. And one in particular named Jaded is still in production. We're on hold because of coronavirus, but soon I hope to have that up and running again and then edit it and then brought to you guys as an audience. Um, so back to screenwriting. Today we are talking about the three act structure. And basically I just wanna give you guys a short little rundown of how a story is made or written and created and that starts with, in terms of screenwriting, that starts with a three act structure. So there are also five act structures. I think there's a nine act structure, depending on how long the movie is um, and how in depth you wanna be. Um, but I tend to go by a three act structure. I used to not outline, I used to just write my stories. However, outlining, making sure that you're hitting all your points in three act structure is so, so important because that way you stay on topic and you make sure that your character does what they're supposed to do. As in, make sure whatever your character's actions or dialogue is, is not out of character, unless that's what you want it to be, you know? Unless that's where you want your story to go. Cause sometimes they don't act like how they normally act and that, you know, plays into their character art, right? And we'll talk about that in another video. We'll talk about characters in another video. So three X structure. Why is it important? 3X structure is important because, like I said, it keeps you on topic. It keeps you on task. It makes sure that you don't forget anything. It makes sure that you don't add any extraneous information into your story because it's one thing to have a story that's entertaining, but it's another thing to have a story that's cohesive, a story that makes sense, and a story that people actually want to see. Like, have you ever gone to the movies and been like, oh, yeah, it kept me entertained. Like, I didn't fall asleep on it, but I wish I didn't pay that $12 at AMC for it, right? Or you could have been like, yeah, it was pretty good, but next time I'm going to wait the three months until it comes on Netflix. Am I right? It's a lot of movies like that. I haven't been to the movies in a very, very long time. Well, not that we could have because it's been over six months of quarantine. However... It's just very few movies nowadays that really draw me in. So it's important to make sure that you write specifically stories that aren't just entertaining, but stories that are good and captivating. And it makes your audience feel something or it resonates with your audience in some kind of way. And that's important because if you write a story that your audience doesn't resonate with, that usually means that that story doesn't mean anything to you. It's not a piece of you that's in that story. And it's just so much better when you put a piece of your heart or a piece of your life or, you know, anything that is close to home is more authentic when you get a little bit more vulnerable in your stories. And your audience knows if it's not authentic because they don't like the story. And then it's also you get people like, oh, man, who wrote that? It could have been like, this is a man writing a story in the woman's perspective. And it's like. Hmm, you've never experienced my life as a woman. How do you write that story? Now, of course, you can write it and, you know, hypothesize, but it's always nice to, you know, have someone to draw off of when you're going to write that story. Okay? So back to our 3X structure. What is the 3X structure? It is essentially a formula that helps to keep you on task, right? It divides your story into three parts, act one, act two, and act three, three acts. So essentially act one is, a lot of people like to call act one the setup, act two the confrontation, and act three the resolution. Or you could have act one the setup, act two the buildup, and act three the payoff. So essentially it's just like act one is 
you setting up your world, setting up the, you know, the setting, what everything looks like, draw people in, um, give people a little context on your story and who your character is. You decide what your character's goal is, which can change throughout your story, especially if it's a season or, you know, if they have a really, really strong character arc. Um, and then also it creates the, you create the conflict that prevents your character from reaching the specific goal that you set up for them, right? Okay. Act two, it basically escalates your conflict by raising the stakes for characters to reach your set goal. Act three, resolves your story through achievement or failure of the set goal. So I tend to like stories where the character doesn't get what they want. I like cliffhangers. I love, um, you know, stories where it doesn't always end on a positive note. Sometimes fairy tales are nice. Don't get me wrong. I love my fairy tales. I love my rom-coms, but I've always been drawn to mysteries or thrillers or stories where the character doesn't always get what they want, which is really awesome. Or like even characters with like the anti-hero or the anti-villain, people that you don't necessarily want to root for, but the writer draws you in to want to root for them. It, it, the writer humanizes the villain, am I right? So anyways, there's your 3X structure. Um, I do thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy when people don't always get what they want in the story. Um, so with that, I wanted to show you guys a bit of an example of a film and just break down the story into the three acts and just show you guys how you can do that, which helps you become a better writer. So it's nice to watch movies and then break it down and see what the writers and the directors did um, and, you know, just learn from that. So I'm going to hop right into that, get rid of this little girl out of the screen, even though like, isn't she so photogenic? Hi, baby. Say hi. She's like in play mode. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. So I'm going to get rid of her because <laughs> she wants to play with my pen. And then I'm going to show you guys in the next clip how a script can be broken down. All right. Be back. Okay, guys, the video is done. We're not going to worry about her part, but thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.